In today's video, we're talking about does somebody's body count, a man's or a woman body count matter in a relationship? Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Salon. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Say for instance you meet a guy and you ask him what his body count is and he says five. I want you to think about you meeting that same guy. You're already interested because you're giving him your time and he says 200. In the same context, brothers, I want you to think about you meeting a lady and you, you're, you, you've had conversation with her and then you ask the question, you know, how many men have you slept with? And she says five or she says two or says none. And then you think about what if she says over a hundred? Are you prepared to deal with that? Today, we're talking about it. Does a man or a woman's body count in a relationship matter? Yes, but not in the way that the world and the culture would have you think, especially Western culture. I'm going to give, I'm going to hit you from a different perspective. Okay. You got to look at somebody like Abraham because we can't use Messiah because he wasn't married. Messiah was actually a young, uh, a young man. Well, I don't want to say like 34 years of age and unmarried. But when you look at somebody like uh, Abraham, a lot of the patriarchs of the faith that was counted as righteous, they had multiple wives and they were counted as righteous. They were never called out in sin. Even Solomon, he wasn't called out in sin for having multiple sexual partners or wives. No, he was called out for the type of woman that he chose. He chose idolatrous women women that went after other deities. So when you think about this, biblically, uh, if a man takes a wife and this man takes this wife under the understanding that she's a virgin and when they consummate marriage through a sexual act, you know, through performing sex, and the husband discovers that she's not a virgin because her cherry isn't, because her cherry doesn't pop, you got to understand the judgment for that woman was death. That's biblical. But culture that we live in, Western culture, is so, is so far away from that. So here's another thing, man. You need to have a certain level of emotional intelligence and emotional maturity to be able to determine whether or not you want to know that you know some some men and women you can be honest with them and tell them that and they won't think twice about it because your spirit now has passed the spiritual test and you're no longer uh you know possibly living in in fornication living in whoredoms and stuff like that but some people the minute you tell them a man or a woman you've had more than one sexual partner, their mind is constantly on that. Oh, did you do that with her? Oh, you must have did that with him. You're not emotionally mature. And contrary to, to whatever the world tells you, when you think about a body count, man, that body count, only in, in a rare case has that body count been obtained righteously. Even for a man having multiple wives, the word said if a man chooses to take another wife, he, he must not uh, forfeit her or not give her the, the, the rightful duty of a husband. He must not diminish her. So he's got a, he has a duty to fulfill. And if a man doesn't do it and has all these side pieces, that's unrighteous. You know, but oftentimes when you're talking about a body count in a man or a woman, you're talking about people that have lived a sinful, rebellious, wicked life. No matter how you put it, whether you was girlfriend, boyfriend, sneak a link side piece the 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 word does not 
uh, talk and support all of this sneakily, it counts it as whoredoms, as fornication, sexual immorality. So a body count does matter, and this is where it really matters. You know, asking somebody their body count off the rip, you know, is not something you probably want to do. Man, that first encounter with a man or a woman, you're going to know by testing the spirit in somebody, by having uh, a spirit that is capable of testing somebody else's spirit, which a lot of people don't have because that means to be filled with the spirit of understanding, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. If you are living and seeing yourself and unrepented, and you call yourself trying to test the spirit in somebody else, you, you can't test it because you got the same uh, sexually immoral spirit in you. But you got to think, man, a, a man, even the priest, he couldn't go get with no woman that wasn't a virgin. And even if a woman did that and tried to lie about it and it was found out, hey, the punishment was death to be stoned. You know, and then even when we look at uh, a woman whose husband has died, you're dealing with a woman that's a widow. Of course, she's got a body count, but she don't have the same body count as the harlot. She got a body count because she has a husband and he died. That's a different story. So there's so many different ways that I see people. Man, there's so many ways that I see people address this, but they don't get back to the age old historical truth. You gotta think, man, there was a price that had to be paid for a virgin. And right now, when we look at it, there's no price being paid for a lot of these women because it's a, we live in a, a, a Western culture that promotes everything opposite of what the Most High Yacht told us to do. So we do have all this transactional sex. And I'm telling you, the next generation, um, the body counts are gonna be a lot higher because Fornication and sexual immorality are at a steady increase. You got to think about this. All of this girlfriend, boyfriend culture, the age of, of sex being very young. So when we look at, even if we look at it statistically, you know, the percentage of virgins, there's not a whole lot of virgins. So you got to think, man, if there's 12% virgins, you know, statistically in your city and you talk to 10 people, man, you might get lucky and there might be one virgin out of that group of men and women. You got men have a higher rate of virginity than women have. You got to look at how women are sexualized out here. So it, it, it's almost promoted to get rid of your virginity. People will welcome you, especially women. Oh yeah, girl, men, they out there, man, they smell this. So you gotta, you have to be emotionally mature enough to even have that conversation. I don't think about, you know, uh, and here's what it comes down to. Man, if somebody has a body count and you are testing the spirit in them, somebody with a high body count, I'm gonna give you an example. A harlot is gonna require more patience there's gonna be more long suffering than a woman who was a widow and lost her husband. Both got body counts. You gotta think about it. A man that's a virgin is not gonna require as much patience as a man that's been out here. A man out here, a man that's been out here and had, has a body count, that man's gonna be uh, sexually immoral. He's gonna be a lot more promiscuous. He's gonna, his flesh has overtaken him. So as a woman, you need to know, hey, you gotta be a little bit more patient. A lot of men don't talk about the aspects of, you know, sexual morality when it comes to men. They just like to focus it on women. You gotta think, man, you're dealing with a man with a with a with a, a body count. He may be on social media liking all these women's uh uh photos and all of this stuff. And it requires, you know, more patience. The 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 more you sin in life does, does it mean more blessings? No, it means more tribulation. So you need to think about that. There are some, some good men and women that have a body count, but you can tell by their spirit 
once you test them, man, they know that the life that they was living was wicked. I talk about it all the time, man. I used to run, I used to run numbers up, and I'm thankful that the Most High y'all delivered me out of that spirit, man. I enjoy going to work, providing for my family, and coming home. I'm not trying to sneak off no damn where. I like my sleep. I like my peace. I like being able to sit on my porch with a little glass of lemonade, watch that sunset, and chill after good days of work. I don't want all that other food. You got some people, some men, feel the complete opposite. They want to be out there in them streets. It's going to require more patience. There's going to be more tribulation. So a body count does matter. And ultimately, what I want you to realize is there's going to be some spirits. Ultimately, what I want you to realize is there's going to be some spirits attached to that person if they've gone out and committed themselves to whoredom. The difference is, have they seek deliverance out of that? Have they seek deliverance? Man, there are some women in righteousness. You got to think, the harlot was counted as righteous because she left her harlot ways and set on a path of righteousness. It was counted to her as righteousness. So you got to think, there's plenty of men and women out there that will spiritually pass the test but have a body count. And if you lean solely on body count, you won't give them the time of day and you might be missing out on somebody righteous. Close to the Yacht Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Out.